Hello everybody, it's Marcus, and today I'm going to show you how to make some teleporters. Uh, we're specifically talking about teleporters that actually function without user having to hit a switch or something like that. So what we're going to need, in a small spot here, we'll just use this for an example. You're going to need a timer. You can choose whatever one you want. This one's going to be five seconds. We're going to also need the teleporters. We'll put one here. And we'll put the other one here. We're going to need logic sensors, which are going to drop right under them. And we're just going to throw them right here. One and two. Okay, so they should be working. And they are. Alright, now we need to wire that. The best way to do this is we had to wire the two teleporters with one piece of wire. But we want to avoid the timer. No, actually, we don't want to avoid the timer. We need the timer for that. But we need a second wire that turns this on. So here you go. This is your basic setup. So we're going to go ahead and step on this teleporter. Timer's on, and you're going to end up on the other side and you can get off before it even hits you back. Now, if two people were to stand on that, obviously it's gonna turn off. So that's one way you could do the um, teleporters using logic sensor on a player and timer. There is another way we can do it. This one's a little more of a contraption. We're gonna need a liquid sensor and we're gonna use water. So we're going to use liquid instead. So to do this, I'm going to put the same teleporters in the same location. They're going to be connected with the same wire. But we're going to use liquid to initialize the teleportation. And to do that... Now is the timer gone? Yeah, I took away the timer. Alright, we're going to need to create a block. We're going to need something like gray brick. I'm going to use that. I guess we'll just do it right here. Create a small area here. That dungeon dragon, I mean dungeon guardian was not <laughs> close, too close. We have to have him here now. They're specifically trying to kill me, I think. Yeah, he's specifically trying to kill me. And it's not working in his favor right now. Well, we could always do it. No, we will butcher him. Maybe he keeps it so close. Oh no, we got a bunch of people now here. Okay, well, we'll just have to do it. We need an inlet pump, and we need an outlet pump. Because what we have to do is we need to get. Oh, this is the outlet pump. The outlet pump will have to be on the platform, so we're gonna need... Okay, we need a wood platform here. Ah, damn. My cat just dropped again. Okay, now we just died from a dungeon guardian. That was his goal, but he got himself killed.
Okay, back to where we were. We were gonna do the outlet pump here. Come on, place the damn thing. Or not. Just have to break this open. Which is... We do need to have this larger, actually. I just realized that. It has to be one block larger for the sensor to work. So it has to be something like this. Both outlets? Is there both outlets? Why the heck is that there? And we need an inlet pump with the center. Oh, I love it. Why is everybody making stuff happen here? water, but we just don't have any water in there. Now we need water here. So we need another inlet pump. An outlet pump here. Now, we're gonna need a pressure plate. So I say we do a pres red pressure plate. How many more times? Is Doi, this? <laughs> okay, these things are shooting beams now. That's new. <laughs> All right, so now that we got through that, we're gonna need to use a wire to connect. This and left pump to that one, and the other one to that one. And it has to be triggered by this sucker here. That means the inlet pump here needs to go. I'd say we do it with a blue wire, actually. If you do it with a blue wire, that's what you're supposed to do. Because you're supposed to bring that water in. Okay, what did I just bring here? Is that yellow? Yeah, it's a yellow wire. Now we got that. Now we just need water. I need a water bucket. Like maybe five of those. So we got that water. Now we have to worry about getting it back. To do that, we need the green wire connected to the sensor. That should work. I don't know why everybody has to be here right now. I don't know. So I'm just going to kill him off. Get them out of the way. Okay, so... The button... Is working? But... The liquid's not. Why is the liquid not working? Why is there got to be something here? Are you guys gonna keep on coming? Yeah, the, where are these slimes keep coming from? And uh, what's going on? The 
liquid sensor that work. Here we figure out why. This is a liquid sensor. It should be on. Alright, these slimes have got to go. Is the sensor not working for some reason? You know what, I'm, I know what I'm doing wrong. We're gonna need a timer. A one second timer. Otherwise we're not gonna get this thing working at all. The one second timer. Jesus, can we move here? Everybody in the way right now. I can show you so much. What they need. Yeah. I only saw blink real time now. So put that one second timer here. We need the water to constantly be removed. So we're gonna have to remove the green wire. The green wire is going to activate. Well, no. Come on. Where is that sensor? There is the sensor. Put it down. The sensor should deactivate. What? When there's no water left. Good. There we go. So, jump on there. Okay, timer is on. Now we gotta connect the teleporter to the sensor. And we'll do that like this. There we go. Works. So that's a liquid. I can't see anything because it's so dark right now. Don't know why everybody has to be here right now. That's what I don't understand. Why is there still slimes? Slimes are everywhere. I'll put some torches in here so we can actually see what's going on here. So, obviously the timer's not going to work now. Yeah, we can't put torches in here because they don't work in the liquid. Rip. So we gotta wait till the timer goes off before we can use it. So it's not very an effective way, but it's one way of getting the teleporter to work. You can use a liquid sensor to do it. Uh, there are a couple of other things we can do with teleporters, such as randomization. This is probably one of the things that people seem to not understand how that works. How does the randomization work? You can really use any combination for this. since we can't get these people to stay away, I'm going to go ahead and just take this all and move somewhere else. And TP pose. When I move, and just teleport somewhere where we can... I don't know why the slimes are still going. The slimes are still going. Alright, perfect. We're in the desert. We'll use the desert as a playing field. Okay, so the plan is we're... Oh, jeez, I have so much stuff now. Use two teleport... Where'd the teleporters go? Yeah, they went into my garbage. Use two teleporters. Do not need liquids anymore. We're not doing liquids anymore. Randomization. So, this teleporter is going to take us randomly to this teleporter. On off chance. 
we're gonna need a logic gate. And I think that's what we need. Now we're gonna need a logic lamp. Um, okay, I logic gate lamp. I think it is. I and R. And faulty logic. So we need all these. Why are there so many enemies now? There's enemies everywhere today. Okay. So we are going to put this ant down. We get one lamp that's off, one lamp that's on, and one faulty lamp. Now we got a randomization. We're going to need the teleporters connected to that random signal. We're going to have to connect the button to that. And then we need to get rid of these buffs because I can't see anything. Now it's random. So I've had really bad luck there. Uh, there we go. Got one. Nope. 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 Nothing. Still nothing. There we go. So there's two lamps here. If I calculated this correctly, if you put a logic lamp down on a lit, it's not going to do anything. Or I should say it's 100%. This is always going to be 100%. Because, I don't know, maybe not. Oh, it seems to be 100% every single time. Right, so you need to have lamp off and lamp on. At least one of each to make it a random. The way the random works is the ratio between on and off determines the percentage of what it's going to be executed. So this is basically 50% right here. So it's a 50% chance you'll get teleported. And a 50% chance that you won't. That's assuming you do this about 100 times. So we can do that. That's the way of randomizing a teleport. Now let's say you want it to be randomly teleporting you to multiple destinations. Okay, to do that, we're going to need a little more teleporters. Let's put this teleporter here and another one here. So we have three teleporters. And they're all going to be connected differently. To do that, this red wire first. And we're gonna kill that, and we're gonna go ahead and well, that's not gonna work because I don't have that removed yet. Okay, we need three of these now. One, two, and three. Since we're dealing with one third. We want to make sure it's even. Put one active light on that. And the faulty light. And now we got a wire red. So let's do the first wire being red. <laughs> Connect the red wire to this teleporter, to this section. Then we'll take the blue one. We can't have the blue one here, obviously. Connect 
connect it to this teleporter. And I connect the green one. To that one. So we got three different connections. Connect the yellow one to the switch to the faulties. And now we got the green teleporter. Again, green. Red. Blue. So you can see there's your random teleportation method. You just use that and you have 33% of each. That's probably one and the only way you're going to do it. Now I don't think you can connect more than one. How many teleporters can you actually connect? That's the trick that we're going to figure out now. I think you can connect six. Up to six teleporters to a single teleporter. The only way we're going to find that out is if we get all these wires. And put teleporter three up. And I think you can do it. You're going to need junction boxes. I know that. So we had six teleporters here. Alright, you want to... Who are you? Thanks for the plot. Don't be griefing. Alright, we need that tele. You're sorry. Well, if you hadn't done that, you wouldn't have to be sorry. It's kind of, that's kind of thing that no. doesn't make sense there. Okay, so we're gonna need six of these bastards. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna screw up somehow, some way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we got six of these. I think we're gonna have to make our... small, smooth. Now to put up the light and then the fault. Alright, so we got all the randoms up. Oh. Let's go ahead and just wire these together with the yellow wire. I can't understand. I shuffled up a few times. What do I do now? Now you give me some water leaves. Now, th now we're gonna have to wire them all together. I need it in my life. Okay, so let's do the red one first. Oh, wait. Can't have the red wire touch it. So the red wire here, we'll start with the first segment next to this one. And it does this. That moment when you want water leaves, but you can't find them. We'll do the blue one. Stop with that, that moment, dude. Not even funny or anything, dude. And this one I does know. that. Yes. Oh, yeah, no. And then this one does this one. So I think these should work just fine. Okay, we got the red one working. Still red. Nope. Back. You. Damn, sturdy. Taken. Hey, teleporter. Not having good chances here. Wow, we're having really bad luck. What percentage is this? Come on! Still red, come on! Yeah, okay, we definitely see it works now. Okay, so now we go back to red. We're gonna pull this one down. And we connect it to that. And we have to connect the red one here. Now we're gonna need a junction box. Can't place the junction box? Why? Can I not place this junction box? Am I missing something here? It's hammerable. Cool, okay. Seriously, why can I not Okay. 
The junction box won't go here. This is very interesting. Let me double check something. If I want to get this junction box to work... Wait, junction boxes can't be put in... Why did you do the edge ground is what? that why are you here? okay they can't be placed underground well this destroys my entire plan okay Gonna this to kill me, man. does not help anyway hey, there's something, right? hmm. okay we're gonna have to my change friend, something here so what we'll do is we'll just set to dirt so we're not going to screw anything up. And we're going to have to rewire this whole thing again. Apparently I can't do it underground, which is stupid, but okay. How much is the scaly truffle worth? So we need to push. Oops. Didn't mean to do that either. Again, we pull the lever wire here down, and it should look something like that. So that is what it should look like. Pull this wire down, and then can't get one of those for some reason. And connect it to that, and we need the green one. Now we go back to red. We pull this one down. How do you need to get those? Set to the next set here. Another one. Why are you not doing that? Blue. And now green. And there we have six teleporters connected. I wait. Now to connect them actually to this. So now we can put a junction box here. What? We have to have a junction box. Good, that should do it. Then we need the blue. But not the red. Ah, crap. Come on, get rid of the red. Okay, not there. Do you want a free death set? And then we just need the green. What? F Put a junction box in those two sure. locations. Okay. One here and one here. That should be it. Open I think oh, now we can no. teleport to all six of them. Yep, here goes that one. So you see we have six teleporters connected to a single teleporter. Push the talk up, please. Earlier, I can like only hear <laughs> maybe a quarter of what you say. Oh God. Try another one. That one got this one. Still the same teleporter. Last one. So it's definitely for sure random. Oh. So the max teleporters you can connect. Is six teleporters on a single mm -hmm. teleporter. That's pretty good and nifty. It's a good way to make this a way of, oh, I want to go there. Another interesting concept I think is capable of doing is 100%ing it. Let's say you do create a hub station for players. If we were to theoretically force, and we have to dispose of. was moved out of your channel. What? And just put a 50% chance. And then put these guys here. Now let's say we want that teleporter to be 100%. Yes. And we turn that switch on. 
Wait, yes, what's your, uh, you... Yeah. What's your name in that? What? That should cause... Yeah, what? What? what is it? The blue teleport. What what? Always be. Oh, maybe not. I can't hear you, I don't know. I can't do anything about that. Okay. Hello. Probably the best thing to do... Is All which teleporter so do you want to be charged, teleported to? In a hub station, okay. I would say something um, like this, but there will be needing a whoa, lot more wreck. wiring to okay. do that. But if we could get that blue one to always work, them right in the bushes. So, it would you know probably allow you to create a forcible teleporter. Just hit the switch, which one world you want to go to, and then boom. So we have already made teleporters with a timer, we made teleporters with liquid, and we've created a hub-style teleportation system using junction boxes. So you can connect up to six teleporters. That's all there is with teleporters for this video. Um, i probably seen a lot more complicated teleportation systems than this, but as always guys, don't be a dick, hit escape and quit, and I'll see you in the next video.